We are going to show you the demo of data management automation as a part of modern SDLC, where you have Git, Terraform, and Ansible as examples for different parts of SDLC workflow, with Delphix providing database as a service. The entire workflow is set up in Amazon Web Services AWS with data in AWS Relational Database Service Postgres. Here you see different environments such as App Development, Production, Jenkins, Developer, and Delphix Target Host running on AWS. You can also see that all these environments are running in different instances in US West 2C Availability Zone. Now this is a continuous integration and deployment pipeline in Jenkins with different jobs set up for different environments like development, standing, testing, and build. Here we have production environment with latest production data in RDS Postgres as noted earlier. You can see different records of customers here. Let's now go to the development environment with the updated code base and you can see that there is no data in it. The local environment in the workflow has some synthetic data as shown here. Here, Delphix dynamic data platform environment is already set up as a part of the workflow. Let's now go through the sequence of events about how all this works. Here you can see how simple code change pushed in Git will propagate to the application dev environment and also set up proper data environment for that particular job. Let's get started. We have now pushed a code change from local Git environment. Git is already set up with Jenkins plugin. After we push the code change up, the workflow has triggered Jenkins build named deploy develop. In pipeline deploy develop after infrastructure as code plan is approved, we are asked to approve the deploying infrastructure as a code. We are using HashiCorp and Packer in this workflow. In the next step, we applied database as a code, which in this particular sequence is data refresh function in Delphix dynamic data platform. Let's look at the logs. The logs show the data refresh function from Delphix dynamic data platform for developer environment. Database as code action seen in Jenkins pipeline has corresponding actions happen in Delphix engine automatically. Let's look at them in the Delphix engine. We are now seeing Delphix dashboard. On the right hand side, you can see refresh database happening for develop environment. Let's go back to the Jenkins environment and look at the logs. We can see 32% progress has happened. Delphix dashboard also shows that it is at the same number and is recovering virtual data set. We are now running snap sync function as part of database as a code. After we finish deploying database as a code, we deploy schema as a code. Now we deploy entire application stack with Ansible. Let's see how it looks in the developer environment. Here we see that our developer environment is populated with production like data as part of SDLC workflow. Expanding the list shows us that entire table is populated here. To verify, let's search for California and San Francisco. Yes, we have the mass data in our developer environment instead of the synthetic data. We just showed one job in SDLC workflow. Delphix automation framework can customize and assign specific data environments and corresponding functions to different jobs as seen here. Here is an example of YAML file which shows staging environment using bookmark and refresh functions of Delphix dynamic data platform for datasets. Test environment uses data pod creation and deletion function. And lastly, development is only using refresh function. 
This demo demonstrated how Delphix Automation Framework can help you have your database as a code aligned with the SDLC workflow customized to particular jobs.